my God. This movie was ridiculous. Ridiculous. I don't think I've seen that many fight scenes in any movie that I've ever watched in my entire life. Yeah. I'm gonna need a gun. I'm going to kill them all. That's like his thing. If I can say that there's anything that I may have not liked in the movie, it's this. It's almost, he is a parody of the John Wick character when he's delivering these lines in this movie. It's distinctly different from the first movie. I know that, which is the one that I own. I've only seen two and three once, and I think three was starting to go that way. It's almost like when you see Arnold in Expendables, he's a being a parody of his Arnold Schwarzenegger slash Terminator character throughout his whole time in the movies. So it felt like he went extremely hard with the John Wick-isms in this movie. <laughs> yeah. It's, you know what? Yeah. Is now his, whoa. I think he's trying to get away from the whole Bill and Ted, whoa. So now it's, yeah. But other than the exaggerated yeah, stuff in this, holy-ish. If you are a John Wick fan, even in the slightest, go see this movie. If you are a martial arts fan, in the slightest, go see this movie. If you are an action movie fan, in the slightest, Go see this movie. If I remotely looked like Keanu Reeves right now, I would be growing my hair out right now and growing my beard just so that I could get the John Wick haircut. I'd be buying several suits so that I had seven suits for different days of the week just so that I could leave my house looking badass that John, like John Wick, going to stores, going shopping, doing whatever I do, going on dates, just so that I could say, yeah. I'd be walking up to chicks in stores, I'm gonna need your number. Yeah, all that type of shit. Now, Donnie Yen is in this. Plays a blind character. <laughs> Kicking ass as only Donnie Yen can. I loved his character. It was really nice seeing Mr. Reddick in this. It's a shame that he passed away so soon. When I hear natural causes at 60, that ain't natural causes. That's something else. You're not supposed to go that young. I'm sorry. Something else was up that the doctors are not figuring out. It was bittersweet seeing him do his part in the movie, especially when you see what his character goes through in this movie, it hurts more. It hurts more when you see his character in this movie. You'll know when you watch it. The guy that played Scorpion, <laughs> Scorpion wins flawless victory, fatality, in the last Mortal Kombat movie, he's in this straight badassery. A bunch of stuntmen that I don't know if I've seen them or not before. Yo, man, bad ass. There's a guy in here that reminded me of Kanye West. You'll know who I'm talking about when you say, reminded me of him. There were certain angles where I'm like, he looks like Kanye West right in this angle right here. Brother was doing this thing, man. I cannot forget, of course, Fat Scott Atkins. Man, <laughs> Scott was in here. Yo, Scott, how did you move in that fat suit? Man, you got to talk, man. Man, you got to talk. How did you move in that fat suit? 
He was moving in this fat suit like he was Boyka. You had to see him. He was funny. He rem his character, rem his transformation as his, as this character reminded me of how um, the penguin was transformed by oh, what's his? I can't even see. I'm so hyped. I can't even remember his name. You know what I'm talking about? In the Batman, Farrell by Farrell by Colin Farrell. That type of transformation in this makeup, in this fat suit, and the way he pulled that off, him being one of my favorite characters from the Batman, Scott Atkins character, one of my favorite characters from this movie, absolutely killed it, Scott. Man, you gotta talk, man. Um, and my hat goes off to everybody that worked their ass off for this film. I've been in small projects. You guys know this, okay? I'm an actor. I've been in smaller, independent films. I've done some physical stuff. The most fun I've ever had on set, at least one of the most, if not number one, was working on The Handler. The fight scene that I did, it was exhilarating. It was physical. It was exciting. I love making, doing scenes like that. So when I sat down and I watched this movie, I had, like, the respect that I have for Keanu Reeves right now. When you, yo, you know when you're sitting through a Michael Bay movie, like, I would say, like, Transformers 4, that, this one comes to mind, where you're like, there's so much action, you're like, are you serious? All this action is still going? In this movie, the fight scenes, it's like when they start, they don't stop. And I don't consider this a bad thing. But that's, I'm trying to get you guys to understand the amount of physicality that Keanu Reeves put himself through to do this, to me, is incredible. I'm like, I hope I could do some shit like this one day. And I know that he's limited because... I spoke to one of his um, his uh, stunt doubles, and he told me that he doesn't actually get to do a lot of the dangerous stuff that Keanu does because Keanu likes to do that himself, stuff like Tom Cruise or Jackie Chan. You got what I'm saying? But he does stuff where he has to run. So because Keanu's knees aren't the best, if anything entails running... Like at the end of what, John Wick 2 or something like that, or John Wick, or I can't remember, but one where he's running and then all the, all the, uh, you know, assassins are getting these texts and messages. That was the double. It wasn't him. <laughs> so I was just like, wow. You know, so I'm just like, yo, a tip of the hat. Everything, look, I'm telling you, everything everybody did was incredible. But I was just looking at how many scenes he was in. How much fighting he did, all these stunts he was in, the driving scene, wait till y'all see that. There's one scene, there's a fight, whole, this whole chain of fights that happens in traffic. And, and that may take you out. There are certain scenes, there's one scene in a club, and there's several scenes in the club, and there's several scenes in traffic where you're like, okay, if this was going on, these people would not still be doing this in the club. If this was traffic, this would not still be going on like this. But it's a movie, but it kind of pulls you out a little bit. You know, very, very minor things like that. You realize you're watching a movie. I believe that they were trying to make the greatest action martial arts film of all time when they were making this because they went above and beyond for this movie. As you can see, I'm going long on this on this movie review cuz I got a lot to say. Like just as an actor watching them, I was just like, man, this is like all of them, man. I'm just like, man, like holy shit, the work ethic put into this movie is incredible. Make sure you all go see it. It has Tyrone Magnus's stamp of approval. And guess what? It wasn't woke. <laughs> five out of five. Woo.
post your comments down below. Let me know what you all thought. Sorry if I missed anything you wanted me to cover. There was a lot in this movie. I loved it. I have nothing else to say. 10 million subscribers.